whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, did you see that? No one can find out. One that I keep on calling back to that I grew up with because it was in my my teenager year is Future Boy Conan, Mirai Shonen Conan, and it, it was early Miyazaki. So this is Miyazaki's helming his first TV series. And what's wonderful about that TV series that it was actually working with the limitation of the time, but it really holds up. The story is beautiful, and there were barefoot kids running around, and there was definitely a lot that inspired our animators. We watched it together. We analyzed. What can limited animation inspire us to do? So it was really about playing with timing. Another one we looked at a lot is Castello Cagliostro. There's some key scenes that are absolutely amazing. And what is a hell pose that then moves very quickly right after? It's a beautiful contrast brought by these 2D limited animation. Another one was Ardman and their characters and the way they talk. So we really looked at how can we bring a tiny bit of even stop motion inspiration. Then we, we collaborated together and how would that mix with the Pixar style? And then, you know, sometimes even a more cartoony style that the, the, the other one worth mentioning is that we went full on Warner Brothers cartoons when we played with multi limbs, we call it. But it's like when you have a smear effect that you would have three, you know, from my hand here to here to here, and we would put all three of them to kind of simulate quick speed. And that felt really fun because we were embracing this playfulness of this kid's world. Then stylistically, we talked about the sets, the characters, the way they're textured. In all sorts of ways, we were just trying to bring art that is made by us on paper that has imperfection, that the kind of uh, brought away, brought us away from some of the things that the computer naturally maybe does a little bit in a more perfect way or, or, or cold way. We joked that our enemy were smooth gradients, like there should be some unevenness. The beautiful iris in Luca, it's like a big brush stroke of color with all the little breaking of, or almost like a pastel kind of brush stroke. So that's the kind of things we, we try to to bring finding some expressive side of it and a little lyricism, which is what I think when you think of Miyazaki and his movies, all his movies and other things that I, I've loved and, and observed and he's kind of looms large in my, in my uh, influences. Mm -hmm.